In years past, there really hasn't been that much difference between the GMC Sierra and the Chevrolet Silverado. And in fact, in some model years, the Sierra was really little more than just a rebadged version of the Silverado with maybe a different grille and two different colored interior pieces. Well, for 2019, GMC has made perhaps the most different version of the Sierra than they've ever made. It looks completely different, but we thought it'd be a good idea to go through and see exactly what the differences were from the Silverado. So we've come here to the ends of the earth, practically, the easternmost point in North America, St. John's, Newfoundland, to drive the new 2019 Sierra. And here are the things that you can only get on the Sierra that you can't get on the Silverado. The most obvious differentiator is the styling of this thing. The GMC is not nearly as wild as the Chevrolet Silverado. It's got a much more traditional grille and headlight setup. Whereas the Silverado looks like the Camaro when it's wild child style, or does the Camaro look like the Silverado? Not quite sure. This one looks completely different and it looks a lot more like the rest of the GMC lineup. But you can see on the sides that it looks nothing like the Silverado you've got no fender up front. Instead, you've got this scalloped body panel. So it doesn't have that big fat fendered look that the Chevrolet does. It's much more sculpted. It's much more sleek. It looks a little bit cleaner, I think, than the Silverado. I think, frankly, it's the better looking of the two trucks. Now we've all seen power running boards and these aren't necessarily exclusive to GMC, but this is something new for 2019. You open the door, they come out. You close the door, they go back in. But if you want to get into the bed, kick the back and they extend all the way back to the rear tire. Hop on up, grab something out of your bed. When you're done, get out, kick the back again. In they go. One item that is exclusive to the GMC Sierra is this. This is the multi-pro tailgate and we've covered it fairly extensively so far. This allows you to have six different positions for the tailgate to perform a variety of functions. This is obviously a step, but if you pull this up, now you have an extended bed with a divider in the back here to stop things. You put it down, you've got a work surface for a laptop, something like that. Either way, no matter how you adjust it, you also have the widest bed that GMC has ever created. It's seven inches wider than the outgoing model. Another exclusive to the Sierra is the Carbon Pro bed. That is a bed made out of carbon fiber. Now, as we said, it's seven inches wider than the outgoing model, but the carbon fiber material is one that GMC says is the strongest, most indestructible material that you could make a bed out of, more than aluminum, more than steel. We asked them basically, well, what do you do when it gets damaged? And they said, well, you really can't damage it all that easily. Well, <laughs> challenge accepted. Mechanically, the Sierra and the Silverado do share a lot of components. They have the same powertrains, they have the same transmissions, they have things like the same four-wheel drive system, but one thing that the Sierra has that you can't get on the Silverado is the adaptive drive control. It has an electronically adaptive suspension. Now, it's not the magnetic ride control that we've seen on things like the Cadillac Escalade and even on the Yukon Denali. This is a little bit different. It's electronic instead of magneto-rheological, so it doesn't use the same kind of system but it is adjustable from inside the cabin using the drive control twist knob. And it'll change between modes, between sport and touring and tow and haul. And it really does change the way that the vehicle behaves and feels. There are two features on this specific model, the Sierra Denali, that we really do like and that aren't necessarily exclusive to this model, but you can only get on the Silverado High Country. First is this heads-up display, which is a first in a pickup truck that we've seen. It's seven inches by three inches and it's multicolored, and you can get things in here like an inclinometer, speedometer, a bunch of different information about what the vehicle is doing, especially in off-road mode, which is really kind of neat to see exactly how the vehicle is positioning itself off-road. The other item is this. This is the second generation of the rear camera mirror. Now, in this mode, it looks like a normal mirror, but as soon as you flip it up, it becomes a full width camera that bypasses everything that might be in the back seat. It's actually located in the top of the cab overlooking the bed and the rear, and it gives you a much wider field of view. Now, if you do have something in the bed that's fairly tall, it is still going to obscure your view rearward, but this will allow you to see a little bit more to the sides than just what your mirror can do alone. 
Now, a number of the features we've just talked about, we've seen here on this model. This is the Denali, the premium version of the GMC Sierra, and it comes with a premium price, $67,595 for this model. And that doesn't even include things like the carbon fiber bed, which will jack that price up even higher. But that's all right. You can actually get some of these same features on the AT4 off-road version as well, which GMC is billing as the world's first premium off-road pickup truck. Now, the Ford Raptor, you might also argue, is a premium off-road pickup truck, but that's really a very different animal than the GMC Sierra. If you'd like to learn more about the GMC Sierra, Denali, or AT4, come visit us at PickupTrucks.com.